Today for Mousetrap Monday, we are gonna test out this high-tech infrared thermal sensing mousetrap with automatic doors that open and close on a time delay. If this trap works, we're gonna catch a lot of mice in the barn. It's made in China and it has a cool name. It's called the D-Star or maybe Death Star. I like Death Star better. Now this trap is not cheap. It's currently listed on eBay for $103.61, but I found a better deal on Amazon. There it's $69.99. But even at the cheaper price, that's still a lot of money for a mouse trap. Let me show you how it works. If you flip it on the side, these are the two doors. And there's an infrared sensor right in the middle. There are switches that keep it from opening. Those lift when it resets. And there's a chamber right here for the mouse to exit. It connects to the squirrel chamber. Right here, it has a trap door. And there's a little lever so the mouse can't get out. If we flip it around, we have a place for the batteries. It takes three double A's. Now we can turn it on right here. We should see a blue light. After a startup sequence, the doors on both ends open. Now when it's all set like this, the mouse will enter, hit that infrared sensor, and when it does, the doors close and latch in place. But as the mouse tries to escape, it will go through the hole in the back and enter the squirrel chamber that attaches with the clips right here. And with the mouse in the back of the trap, the infrared sensor will detect when there's nothing inside. It will wait three minutes and then reset the doors. That's a pretty slick design. Now I read the instructions and there were some funny parts to it. It tells us if you wanna catch a mouse, you need to think like a mouse. The mouse is an IQ rich animal. An adult mouse has an IQ equivalent to an eight year old child. And apparently the mouse understands. It says, do not talk loudly about catching mice or other related sensitive words. Well, I do have smart mice in the barn, but I don't think they're that smart. Let's go get our pet mouse and test it out and see if this trap works. Now that we have him, the trap will reset itself in three minutes, but we can put our mouse back in his cage. Well, our Death Star trap worked well with our pet mice. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see if we can catch wild mice. Well, on the first night, the Death Star mousetrap worked well. We have two mice in there. We'll lift off the squirrel cage and let them go. This mouse doesn't want to come out. There we go. Well, let's go set up the trap again and see what we can catch. Well, our Death Star trap didn't catch the big rats, but we did catch a small rat. 
and went in there and got caught. Now it's in the squirrel cage. Now this is a non-native invasive species called a brown rat or Norway rat. So I'm not going to let it go. Instead, I'm going to humanely dispatch it and feed it to wild animals. So let's go set up the motion cameras to see what enjoys eating a rat snack. Well this time a red-tailed hawk enjoyed the wrap provided by the Death Star Mousetrap. It's a cool design, it's high tech, but I don't think it's worth the heavy price. Especially when a mouse can hang out in the corner, not move, and have the doors open, and then it can escape. And unless you have a low IQ mouse that gets out and then goes right back in, you won't catch as many as some of the cheaper and more simple mouse traps. But whenever I see a new mouse trap on the market, I buy it to test out. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So thanks for watching. I got more great mousetraps coming soon.